What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing another video on Madden 21. Did a little air quotes you couldn't see uh, because we're looking at the ratings for Madden 21. Of course, some of these could change. We all know, you know, things aren't final, but there's a very good chance this is what the players will look like overall wise. I don't know if it shows the development, but we do have some rookie developments at least from ModernSchool.com that we will take a look at as well. I forgot to mention, so I'll mention it now, but we are going to be doing a fantasy draft rebuild on Twitch live tonight at around 8 p.m. Central, so make sure you're there. Follow me on twitch.tv slash drumpycare just so you know exactly when we're live, and let's get back into it. But the main thing I want to look at here are, as of course, my Packers, which I'm a Packers fan, and then I don't know if I'm going to separate the videos because it depends on how long it'll take. But I want to take a look at our two guaranteed franchise teams that we will be taking for next Madden, uh, which are the Redskins and Rams, of course. So as for these basic ratings, we have, uh, you know, guys like Aaron Donald, uh, who's obviously just an absolute monster. I kind of want to see what the what the ratings are. What is he? Just 99, 99 power, 97 finesse, 97 block shit, of course, for our Rams. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet thing. Uh, of course, we have the 599 overalls. I think, honestly, Michael Thomas is a little overrated. I'm going to be 100% honest. If there's any one wide receiver that should be 99, it should be Julio. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. Thomas, I get the stats are really good, but it's more than just what the stats are. you got to compare them to situations and targets and all this. He's a great player, but if they're going to put one wide receiver at 99, i put Julio. He's just, he's just that dude. If I could have one guy for one season, no injury problems, I'm taking Julio 24 times out of 24 times. Hell, even put Hopkins over him. Uh, but Wagner, a little unfortunate, he drops down to 88, uh, 98. And then that speed took a little bit of a hit. I believe he was 87 to 88 last year, right? If I'm not mistaken. Um, looking at some of the other higher rated players, J.J. Watt, I get he has the pressure and all that, but injury concerns, I can't have a guy who plays like half the season at a 98 overall. I just can't. I can't do it. I just can't do it. But he is a very good player. Zach Martin, 98. Julio, 97. There's some very high-rated players, of course, this year. Von Miller, 97. As a Packers fan, David Bakhtiari, 96. That's a little too high. I think maybe 93. I think Bulaga played better than him last year. Travis Kelsey, 80, uh, 97. Makes sense. Of course, you look at George Kittle, 98. Look at that speed. 88 speed, 89. Excel. That's ridiculous. Tyreek Hill, 99 speed, 99 XL, 98. Uh, of course, agility. Maybe take a few more ganders at some of these other guys. Devontae Adams, 94 overall. Jalen Ramsey, 94. Gronk, 95. Several years out of retirement. 95. Calais Campbell, 95 is a little high. You know, he did take a little bit of a step back last season. Chandler Jones, 95. I think he's finally getting the respect he deserves. Uh, Quentin Nelson, I guess it's very still young. Derrick Henry maybe should have been up a little bit. Drew Brees, a couple of these guys, a little lower rated than they uh, they should be. As far as that goes, though, I think that's really all I kind of want to take a look at. Uh, let's take a look now at the Packers. Of course, my favorite NFL team. Let's react to these ratings, which I know some of them are going to be probably god awful. What the hell did I just do? All right, so for the Packers ratings, we're actually seeing, you know, first glance, some pretty good ratings. If you had to guess devs, you know, Superstar, X-Factor, Star, because I didn't see him on any of the lists for uh, Superstar or X-Factor abilities. Superstar, X-Factor, Superstar, X-Factor, Superstar, Star, and then, you know, the rest goes down from there. As far as Zedaria Smith goes... He was the, I mean, to be fair, we do have guys like Shaquille Barrett, I believe, that are underrated as well. But Zedarius Smith was basically the best pass rusher last year. You know, stats showed that he was the most double teamed. He had the most success for pressures. And those are the two number ones. You know, drawing the double team is huge. But also still, I can't remember what it was. Was he number one? I think one of the stats was number two. But getting double team is huge. So obviously that frees someone else up. But still producing the most pressures, that is what it takes to be a pass rusher. Zidarius being 80 speed, I think that's a little low. I think 82, 83 maybe, but that's fine. Adrian Amos, 86, totally agree, maybe a little bit lower than that. 
Preston Smith, probably an 85. I'd put Zedarius at a 90, 91. Preston at an 85. Ellen Jenkins, maybe an 82. Um, what else do we have? Devonte, I'd probably put at like a 97. David Bakhtiari at like a 92, 93. Uh, Kenny Clark, probably 90. Yeah, I, I think 90 is fine. Sometimes he does disappear at times. Aaron Rodgers at 89. I get it. He's been regressing a little bit because, you know, the receiver situation isn't great. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of trust in his guys. And it seems like with age, he's been a little more cautious. So, I mean, I can't really argue too much with 89, but maybe a 92, 93, I suppose. Uh, looking at the rest of the players, Corey Lindsley, you know, you're not going to see too much arguing from me here. I think Savage is being very savagely under. <laughs> I think he should be higher overall, simply put. Savage was a very good rookie, probably an 80-81 overall in my opinion. Looking at the rest of the guys, Dean Lowry, MVS, not really seeing anything too brutal there. Kevin King, I mean, he shows brilliance at times, so... I don't know, maybe a little higher, 75 perhaps. I don't know. Nothing really. I can't really argue with that one. I just simply can't. Uh, the rest of these guys, Jay Sternberger. Where is uh, Lazard? 71 overall Lazard. I guess. What's his catching? 83. What's the catching traffic rating? His spec catch should probably be pretty high. He's made, he made a couple of really good catches last year. 82 spec catch. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit higher, but no, I mean, there's really not much I can argue with. I, I pretty much agree with the majority of the stats on here. Uh, AJ Dillon, once again, I think he could be a decent player, just not the right position. Just made a poor play for the, you know, bad decision for the position. 80 agility is very rough, though, I will say. Uh, but yeah, as far as the Packers' depth goes, a bit rough, a bit rough. Now for our offline franchise team, the Washington NFL logos? <laughs> of course, we don't know what they're going to be, but this is what the team looks like. Kendall Fuller is listed as a, as a free safety. Is he actually going to play that position? Either way, uh, with the, the Washington Redskins, they're actually a bit lower overall rated than I thought, which I'm actually very happy about because, you know, going into this one, I thought maybe we chose a team that was too good again. I really did. But looking at these ratings now, I don't think we did. Ryan Kerrigan's a bit low. Uh, the interior guys that are younger, you know, Deron Payne, uh, Ioannidis, uh, Jonathan Allen, they're pretty low overalls. Terry McLaurin, 82, 81 for Geis. Chase Young, this is a very interesting player. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Peterson, probably going to be gone after the first season. Ronald Darby, interesting overall. Sweat, still extremely fast. But yeah, I mean, you look at this team, there is lots of needs on this team. And, you know, they don't have a lot of depth. Their overalls aren't very high, so... I'm actually very glad that we chose the Redskins, even though there's, well, the the Washingtons, uh, even though there's a lot of uh, controversy, which, of course, kind of gets the clicks. Who doesn't love a little drama, am I right? Rapists. I mean, uh, what? Who's, huh? <laughs> Sexual assault. That's the one I was looking for. Uh, but as far as the Redskins ratings go, is there any little sneaky players that I could, that we go for? Let me know if you guys know, like, Emmanuel Hall. Sneaky player. Look at that speed. I think he's 6'3", right? We all remember that name from this past Madden. Uh, Logan Thomas, quarterback, basically. Uh, let me know if there's any guys on this team or the Rams team that is sneaky. Like, Bryce Love's a kind of sneaky player. He'll be our number two after Peterson's gone, for sure. Uh, anyone else? Troy Apke, fast white safety. Probably be our number one as we move kind of Kendall Fuller to corner. I don't know why he's listed as a free safety. But, yeah, I mean, there's... There's a lot of interesting stuff on this team. I will say, as far as starters go, there are a lot of right dead middle 80 overalls. So, not the worst team in the world, but definitely a little bit worse than I thought they were going to be. So, I'm actually kind of cool with it. And then for the team that matters the most to us, because it is the online franchise, we have the LA Rams. Mr. Aaron Donald, we already went through him. Absolute monster. You have Jalen Ramsey, who is actually... Really slow this year. 91 speed, 93 excel for Jalen. You look at him compared to Cup. They're saying Jalen Ramsey's not much faster than Cooper Cup, which I will 100% fight against because that is just not true. But as far as Cooper Cup goes, who is supposedly going to be a superstar development, really good starting rating. You know, when I thought of Cooper Cup, I just kind of kind of thought of like an 83, 84 overall star development. 
guy that's going to, you know, be gone soon because of regression, but he's actually going to be a true viable number one. 95 catching. Uh, what about the other ratings? I hate the way it's all set up. I really do. It sucks. Uh, where the... I missed it all again. Oh, there's the route running. 85 deep, 91 medium, uh, 91 short. His catching traffic's a little rough, but a very good solid receiver, of course. Robert Woods, another kind of slower guy, but a little bit faster because he has that 90 speed and then the Excel drops to 88. But two really good wide receivers there. Uh, as far as Gerald Everett goes, 79 overall, as expected. Uh, you're probably going to be our number one. Ibu Cam starting as an 88 overall, which he's very fast in fairness. So Donald and Ibu Cam probably playing the majority of the snaps. I don't know what I want to do with Aaron Donald because I know this is, I believe, a 3-4 with Aaron Donald playing on the inside. But at the same time, it, you kind of want Donald playing the edge. So he does have bull rush in fairness. So it really kind of comes down to what works. You know, if if we have Ibu Cam on the outside with Donald on the inside and it's working... That's what we're going to stick with. But if it's not working, I want Donald to get the most uh, pressure, which could be on the edge. Just saying. Uh, as far as John Johnson goes, another young safety. Maybe move him to free. I don't know. I, I kind of want him at strong. I don't know. But he's a little bit slower, but very, very good of an overall, considering how young he is. Rob Havenstein and Blythe are two best linemen, considering, you know, of course, Whitworth is going to be gone pretty much year one. Uh, right after year one, he's gone. If we can somehow trade Higby, which we won't be able to. Uh, ooh, 95 catch, though, for Higby. Maybe we can. Maybe someone would want that. That's a good possession, guy. He's not that old. Definitely try to trade him if we can. Brockers, true number uh, one DT. It's probably where we'll put him. Uh, this is where it gets rough, though. I mean, this team drops dramatically. Like, you have a couple of solid starters, and then it drops hard. You have Leonard Floyd. Maybe you can trade him off. I don't remember his contract. And then you have Jared Goff, a 78 speed, 86 uh, Excel quarterback. Let's take a look at the actual throwing ratings. Where are they? Okay, throw power is right there. So 89 throw power, very viable. That's uh, that's actually pretty high. And then as far as short, medium, and deep goes, oh, he's a very good quarterback for a 76 overall. Okay, I'm not really sure where they're getting 76 overall from unless... Ratings are just weird this year. Um, What's that play action rating? 86 play action, 85 throw in the run. Where is he lacking? What's that awareness looking like? It's got to be bad. 74 aware. Okay, so we're kind of getting lucky with uh, Jared Goff here. I think, I think we kind of lucked out. 76 overall for a guy with those ratings seems a bit low. Taylor Rapp plays B-Star. Once again, another really slow safety, but a lot of these guys, if they have good dev, Definitely tradable, even with the you know the slow uh, speed. As far as uh, Josh Reynolds go, I doubt you know I doubt we're gonna be able to get anything for him. But I don't want him to actually start on the team. I really do want to use Van Jefferson, even though he is gonna be on the lesser side. Troy Hill, Ashawn Robinson, uh, Malcolm Brown. Doubt he's tradable, especially with that terrible. No, that wasn't agility. It's still pretty bad agility. I'm just trying to think of who could we trade. Like Higby would be high on the list. Whitworth, if we can, I doubt we'll get to get anything for him though. Uh, maybe one of these backup corners. Anyone else we got? Cam Akers and Burgess. Very interesting names. Uh, Burgess himself might allow us to move. What's his name? Allow us to move Taylor Rapp. I'm trying to see these ratings. So as far as Juke move goes, 86 Juke move for Cam Akers. Okay, I like it. I like it a bit. Stamina, though, 86. No. That's brutal. Absolutely brutal. Uh, zone coverage, man coverage, so almost kind of like a corner, basically. Uh, 71 hit power is brutal. Daryl Henderson, a guy that nobody ever wants, even though he had star development. Probably won't have star this time. David Long might actually compete for starting snaps for us. Van Jefferson, Unfortunately, spoiler alert, he's only normal development, and on top of that, he's already 23. Hopefully, they mess up his age somehow, and look at that agility. 82 agility. Yikes, but he'll probably be our number three wide receiver. As far as ever, other players go, Terrell Lewis, maybe. I don't know what his base stats are, though. Terrell Lewis is bad in the stats, man. Yikes. Micah Kaiser, how fast is he? I don't think there's... 
Wait, can I go by linebacker, like, position? So we're going for linebackers now. Uh, Ibukam, obviously, fast. Please be a sneaky guy. Who's this? You freaking hero. Traven Howard, 87 speed, 89 excel. That may be our user. Kenny Young. Is this not the Ravens linebacker? He looks really bad this year. Yikes. But yeah, as far as linebackers go, Micah Kaiser could be usable. Uh, but this... This Traven Howard guy. I don't know how old he is, but if he's young, that could be our uh, our new like Ulysses Gilbert type. As far as linebackers go, not a great bunch. This Rams team's going to be a super rebuild. I believe it was the 8th worst team, if I'm not mistaken. 8th or anywhere from the 8 to 10 range. So we definitely chose a you know pretty much a rebuild team specifically when you consider the... Uh, what is it called? You consider the... The contract, the salaries, because, you know, of course, this team's paying 20, 25 mil for players that aren't even on their team. Got Jared Goff being paid tons, Aaron Donald being paid tons. You have to pay Ramsey. The contract situation is going to have to be worried, worked on ASAP. I don't know when we can get rid of Jared Goff if we want to, but that's a brutal player to work with. But, I mean, that's pretty much the video. Uh, actually, no, we have rookies. Uh, so, of course, a little bit of spoiler. Chase Young is the only X-Factor rookie in Madden 21, of course, last year we didn't have a single X-Factor rookie out the gate. Uh, so this is actually pretty spectacular. Of course, he's going to be on our Redskins franchise. Looking at the rookies that are superstars. Joe Burrow, no shocker. Jerry Judy. Some could debate that. CeeDee Lamb, some could debate that as well. Isaiah Simmons, I really thought he was going to be star. But all that time we put him at superstar. Made sense. CJ Henderson, that one's a little surprising to me. Didn't think that was going to happen. Makai Becton, I didn't think that was going to happen. And then for the rest, Okuda, Derek Brown, and Ruggs, of course, we knew that was going to happen. Jalen Johnson, a steal for the Bears, great stuff. Uh, Nutain Mutai for the Broncos, good stuff. Uh, Will, I thought his name was Wills, not Willis, oh, whatever. Uh, nothing really shocking here. I'm trying to see if there's anything that surprises us. Herbert, no. Clyde Edwards, Hilaire. Michael Pittman, in fairness. Okay, that's pretty good for a 70 overall, if I'm not mistaken. Marlon Davis. Who the hell is that? I don't know who that is. Man, the punter, I don't really care. Who's Chenault? Is it not Chenault? <laughs> okay, dude. Uh, Swift, fair enough. Could have maybe even made the argument for Superstar. But, in fairness, we don't see a single Superstar running back, so it is what it is. Uh, and then here's the big ones. Burgess, star development. Cam Akers, star development. That's huge. That's huge. The Ravens have three. Uh, and then for the normal rookies, doesn't really matter too much because you would expect them to be normal. But is there a name here that we would have thought? Maybe Willie Gay. Uh, T. Higgins, maybe. Ray, no, not Raekwon. A.J. Terrell, maybe surprising that it wasn't a star development. Uh, anyone else? Jordan Love, maybe should have had star if Herbert has star. But as far as that goes, outside of that, I don't think anything really surprises me. Those are the devs. Of course, I'll probably have the link if you want to see the ratings or the developments for the rookies in the top line of the description. Anyways, that is the video for today. Well, no, it's not the video for today. We have a Flyers video as well coming out later today. And then we'll have a, uh, what is that called? We'll have a rebuild live on Twitch. I might have mentioned in the beginning, I don't remember. Live on Twitch tonight at around 8 central p.m. It was the fantasy draft that we did on Twitch so uh, we'll just, you know, we'll end up rebuilding that. Could be very quick, I will admit. But at the same time, it could take a while. So uh, regardless, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did or you want to see more Madden 21 style videos, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome Care, And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video, uh, see ya.